Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined here by Stevenson Women's Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, you had uh, four matches at home last week, finished 4-0, and kept that home winning streak alive. Um, let's talk specifically about Saturday. Um, two big wins against Washington, Lee, and Juniata. Take us through that whole day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fantastic day, Greg. Uh, I couldn't be more excited for uh, our team. Um, and coming in, they knew this was a big Saturday. We really didn't have a whole lot to lose. Um, we had had a, a good week already, and um, Washington and Lee came in, and really they did some things that were a little different uh, as far as the way they approached. Um, and it took us a little while to get a handle on that. They tooled our block a lot uh, early on, and you know, we got to one and one. In, you know, one set to one set, and then we were able to gain control um, and play a little bit better the third and fourth set. Yeah, and then um, obviously you had a little bit of rest, and then you take on Juniata and sweep them three zero. Take us to that match. That was amazing. Yeah, uh, you know, our, our you know, this was a chance for us to say, who are we? You know, or, or how good are we? Yeah. And um, we got Juni. We were fortunate enough to get Juni out on our home floor, and uh, we're able to play really well uh, as a team. Our pin hitters, Katie Leffridge and Annika Swartz, uh, have fantastic days both against Washington Lee and against um, Juniata. And we passed and served extremely well. Caroline Dangle had five aces against Juniata. That's kind of unheard of. Uh, and uh, so, and it just kind of snowballed. You know, it just kind of snowballed throughout the three sets. Yeah. And obviously, Katie Leffridge um, earning some national attention. She mm -hmm. won not only Matt Commonwealth Player of the Week, but she won, uh, just announced about an hour ago, the ABCA National Player of the Week. Um, so talk about, you know, not only her week, but the season she's been having, how she's really stepped mm -hmm. up for you. Well, that, Katie is one of those kids that pushed Kristen Brooks last year to start and Kristen was able to, as a senior and a captain, was able to um, hold her spot. Uh, and Katie waited patiently. The one big question we had this year coming in is, will Katie be able to take Kristen's spot? Who's going to take Kristen's spot? And then if it's Katie, will she be able to do it? Katie came in in phenomenal shape. She did CrossFit all summer. Uh, she increased her vertical. Uh, and she worked really, really hard. And I couldn't be happier for somebody like that. And hitting 567 against Washington and Lee. I mean, Washington and Lee is an excellent team. And then turn around and said, and we even said in the locker room, it says, you know, Katie's not going to hit 567 all the time. And then she turns around and hits 500 against Juniata. You know, Washington and Lee kind of said, we're, we're going to stop Mariah. And they just couldn't close that block to get all the way across the court to close the block against Katie. And she took advantage of that. Uh, so it's, it looked like to us they came in with the, the game plan to stop Mariah. And that's, you know, part of being a team. Uh, where if, if you're trying to stop one kid, then another kid is is going to, st to is going to step up. Uh, so Katie, <laughs> Katie stepped up big time over the weekend. Yeah, um, and just talk talk about. I mean, I, you've played some pretty good competition this year, um, and obviously you just had the one loss, to Carnegie Mellon. Mm -hmm. um, does it give your kids more confidence knowing now that they beat a team like Juniata, one that you've had some history with, and you know usually Juniata's come out on the winning side of that? Well, I think it has to. Um, I think it it, ha it has to. We're going to have a little talk today uh, before we play. Go, you know what they think it means yeah. to to have beaten Juniata. We're only in the second week of October. Right. You know we've got Hopkins coming up. We have Stockton coming up. We have F and M coming up. We need to still win our conference. I mean there are so many more things that we need to accomplish. So you know I kind of let them celebrate that over the weekend. It yeah. didn't bring up what we have to accomplish. Right. Uh, and. Um, so we've got so much more to accomplish this year that we just can't say, oh, great, we beat Juniata. Well, I mean, it's the second week in October, and so uh, we've got a long way to go. Right. Obviously, it's a great, it's a great win. It's a great milepost. But, the, you know, ultimately that's not the goal. Obviously, the goal is to win the conference, go to the NCAAs, and, you know, hopefully stay in the NCAAs for a while. Right. And, I, you know, I, you know, I, I have to kind of add on to the whole team is, you know, I think beach volleyball has had a huge part in our defense yeah. um and and in katie's development katie played on her number twos with lauren weaver both of them are jumping higher katie's defense defensively our whole team defensively is better than they've than they've ever been as far as they're relentless you know katie you know in katie's case she played number twos with lauren weaver and she beat it they beat a division one team yeah. you know they beat coastal carolina we lost four to one but those two 
won. So they had a really good record. Confidence. Yeah. Confidence believing you can do it. You know, and uh, so I think Beach has played a huge part of that. I think their defense has played a, you know, a huge part of that. Uh, so moving on, <laughs> we got Albright tonight. It's a conference match. Yeah. And then they're actually going to have a couple days off. You know, yeah. They're, they're gonna, we're going to do some team bonding Wednesday, but they're going to be off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. So which this is a recharge yeah. because then we come back and we play have four matches the next week. I say week. you've got a busy week next week with yes. some quality uh, opponents. Yes, so absolutely. It's probably be good to get that little bit of yeah. rest before those matches. Yeah, because then we come back and we have Lebanon Valley, yeah. and then we have Hopkins. Yeah. Hopkins is number 23 right now, and I'm, they, are, they, you know, they are really good. Yeah. I, I vote them a lot higher than 23. I think they're a really good team, so that'll be a great test for us. Yeah. That's Thursday, October 19th, at home. At home. We'll hope to see you there. Mm. Um, <laughs> well, uh, thanks, Coach. Um, good luck tonight at Albright. Um, you know, um, hope your girls get to enjoy a couple days off, and then we'll be right back here next week. Uh, thanks, thanks, Greg. For, yeah, thanks for your time. Um, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.